Welcome into WOSN for our annual Stolly Hustle Award Show as we name our top hustlers from basketball and football season. Every week on our TV44 and WOSN broadcasts, we name a Stolly Hustler Award player and our announcers submitted their vote for the top five standouts that will be awarded the Stolly Hustler Award plaques you see tonight. Glad you're joining us. I'm Frank Altieri, joined by Jared Stolly of Stolly Insurance Group. Yeah, great to be here. Really excited for this year's class and, and to, uh, to give away these, these great awards. And without spoiling anything, what are your thoughts on this year's class? Uh, it's always talented basketball and football, uh, high school talent around here um, in the area. Uh, really excited about uh, just, just the, the overall broadcast that WSN does for, for, for these kids. And um, it, it, it puts them out to the, to the airwaves and, and gives them a spotlight that, that they deserve. And this is the 31st year of the tradition and partnership between TV44 and Stolly Insurance Group. What are your thoughts yeah. on this long-running, very fruitful relationship? Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, it's, it's as long as I've been born. Uh, the the uh, partnership between you know, W2W, WSN, and Stolly Insurance is a, is a, is a great one. And uh, that, so we, this partnership has kind of uh, highlighted that, that, uh, that great relationship that we have with you guys. And, um, I think the, the, the word hustle is such an overused term, I think, in today's, every coach says it, every, every athlete hears it, um, but I think you see it, you, you know it when you see it, when you see so many hustle out there, and, and we like to pride ourselves in the business community as we hustle for our customers as well. That's kind of how that all started. And without any further ado, here are the top five hustlers from the football season. We're in the red zone, and that's a match. Heating and cooling red zone. Ball snapped high and climbs after it. Picks it up on the hop and just throws. He's got a man out here. What a play. Klein finds a receiver in the end zone. And that is Caden Short. What a play by Drew Klein. Two receivers deep side as Breck sets up behind him. Takes the pass. Going to throw it deep. Cheats is out here as well guarded. And Cheats went up and got it. Did he stay in bounds? I believe he did. Good options. Fine looks, throws, sheets. Sheets. Sheets dives for the end zone and gets in. Get a good look there at the red, white, and blue S. Fine throws it over the middle of the field. It's caught. Man to man. Fine looks. Look, Sheets is double covered. They throw it to the end zone. It's caught. They threw it into the arms of number Painter. 82 That's in the Painter. end zone. Painter as the gun expires. I'm with Drew Klein. Drew, what does it mean to you not only to win this award, but also for your team? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing. Um, God's helped us through, I mean, plenty of tough times throughout everything. And, I mean, uh, it's, just, it's just an honor being here for four years at Crestview. It's, it's been fun and love my teammates, love my coaches, and the process has been fun to, fun to enjoy, and I, I just love it here. And you play quarterback. You're the field general out there. This was your, your senior season. What did it take to be successful? I mean, we just came together as a team. You got to build that unity from the beginning of each season. And I mean, <clears throat> I was a senior this year and I was the leader of the team. Uh, I have been for the last three or four years, ever since I was even a freshman almost. And um, I mean, I've just kind of stepped into that role and accepted it and just tried my best to get everybody to rally together and uh, just play as a family and just love each other and play for each other and play for the community and that's what makes it fun. And we spoke off camera about your skill position players, wage sheets at wide receiver. Um, how did it help you this year having those kind of athletes around you that you could spread the ball to? I mean, I've always had a really good team around me, which has helped me be successful. And Wade, he's he's a special kind of player and special kind of person. And he, he just makes everything run for us on our offense whenever we were playing football. And, I mean, he, he, he would get open and he would make some crazy catches for me. And it was just a lot of fun. And it would open up other guys to, to, to be open so I could throw them the ball as well. And th this team was very successful this season. What game stood out to you as kind of the definitive game of your last season here at Crestview? Uh, most definitely our last playoff win against Minster. I mean, last year we lost to them by three, and then they went on to win the state championship. So we, we kind of wanted some revenge, and we, we kind of got that. Um, I mean, I know we took a, took a fall the next game, but that's just the way life goes sometimes. And 
I, mean, we, I feel like we kind of put all of our effort and energy of the whole season into knowing that we would run into Minster again, and, and we finally conquered that giant. But, I mean, it was, it was just a fun season all around, and we actually got a share of the NWC, which which was a first for us, and um, at, at least while I was at Crestview. And, I mean, we, the game against Spencerville, when we had the last second play that won it to, to kind of win the NWC for us was awesome as well. And what's next for Drew Klein? What, what do you have planned for after high school? Um, I'm planning on attending um, Ohio University and majoring in marketing and business administration. And I'm not really going to pursue my sports career. I don't, I don't think so, at least at this moment. Um, focus on my grades, focus on my academics, and – the next chapter in my life. Right to the receiver left and the tight end as well to the left. And the tight end run to the right side. And they'll go with Rathman. Rathman will skate into the end zone. Touchdown Flyers. First and ten. And off to give to Matt Rathman. Rathman, end ditto. zone. Touchdown, Marion Local. That's a ditto of the first one. Yeah. Yes, That's I would say. Rush going to roll right, and he's going to air it out. He's got a man out here. And what a catch. How about the catch by Matt Rethman, and Rethman will be knocked out of bounds before he gets to the end zone. He's going to roll right, throw back to his left. He's got Rethman out there, put it right into Matt's hands, and Rethman will get over the 50. Whoa. Looks, throws it deep, got him on a wheel route, and he put it right into the hands of number 10, Matt Rethman. Matt, what does this award mean to you, and how has your versatility really helped you earn this award? Um, it's an honor. I, I didn't even know that this was a thing, but uh, it, it probably helped me earn this award because um, I was on offense and defense and in there for most of the game and sp special teams, so that probably helped a bit. And that's a big part of being a hustler is, you know, that, that drive, and you rarely came off the field. Like you just said, you played offense and defense. What side of the ball do, do you prefer? Uh, I kind of liked defense. Uh, I just always have. That's what I started off as when I was a sophomore. And uh, just uh, stopping the defense and then learn, like just scouting the other team and just knowing what they all do before they, like, knowing that when they're in a formation, like, you know, they can only run so many plays out of this. And then just beating your opponent mentally more than physically. And you're kind of a Swiss Army, ni Army knife offensively. Um, running back, receiver, what do you prefer there? Uh, I don't really know that I have a favorite, but uh, I kind of enjoyed uh, wide receiver. It was new for my senior year. And uh, just like making, making plays. And they run you, like I was saying, a lot of wheel routes, a lot of motion stuff. Um, did you enjoy the offensive philosophy this season? Yeah, I liked the um, the mix up. Like we had new stuff every week that we just throw in to try. Like, hey, can you do this or try this? I think we can try to do this. But, yeah. And what are your plans after high school? Uh, I'm not doing uh, sports, but I'm going to Bowling Green for uh, software engineering. Congratulations, and what will you take with you from football, really, after you graduate and into life? Uh, the work ethic, uh, all the time we put in, and just being prepared for, for uh, or like planning ahead, kind of like scouting for the next team, um, and working as a team. Goldwater sends May in motion. That's Alex May, left to right. Flat. Now oh. they'll look deep, take the shot towards Sperling in the end zone. Bobble caught. Touchdown, Cavaliers. <laughs> they'll go in full board. Now they'll fake it again. Hemelgarn rolls left, fires. End zone has his man. And is it caught? Touchdown. Waiting for the signal. Yes. Touchdown, Coldwater again. That's Cole Frilling. Lob to the end zone. Jump ball down there. It's caught. Is he inbounds? And we're waiting to see. Oh, is he going to throw his arms up in the air or not? The Cavaliers think he scored. Yeah, I think it was a touchdown. I think you're right. 
The catch Cole, what does this award mean to you, and what does the term hustler also mean to you? Um, the awards, it's a very honor. It's a good honor. I have no, I never didn't know I won it until just now. But uh, uh, hustle is just something we always do here at Core. Like hustle is grit, same thing. Like we go everybody, every sport you play, everybody hustles, everybody plays hard. It's just kind of a normal thing here. And you play wide receiver. You're a great outside presence. And this season, they really worked you into this offense heavily. How did you grow as a player? Oh, I uh, I grew a lot. Like, I joined back this season. I didn't play my junior or sophomore year. So I had to learn everything. I, I pretty much learned the offense again from freshman year and then came back and just we had a good quarterback, good offensive line. Everybody was just top notch this year. And does that make it sweeter that you spent two years away from the team when you come back and the first year you do, you're a top five Stolly hustler? Yeah, it was it was this is a surprise. I didn't think I'd be that good. I didn't think I'd be very good. I I figured it'd be okay because I'm just athletic more. But uh it was it was I didn't think I'd be as good as I was, but yeah, it was it was nice. And which game this season really stood out to you both as a team and in terms of individual performance? Um I'd have to say the four recovery game because that was probably my favorite game because we were down 14 points, no, 10 points with like two minutes to go or something, three minutes to go, and we ended up coming back and winning that game. And there was just it was a we had a really bad game for us, but it was a really good game because we played so bad for so long, but then we ended up coming back and we ended up winning that game. That's probably my favorite one. Roots will keep it himself, is headed for the end zone, and the big quarterback runs into the end zone from 15 yards out, Nathan Broods. And up the ref it again, Broods is going to throw it deep, he's got a man open, and he found Tangerman in the end zone. And they're going to throw right side, look at Tangerman, end zone, what Boy. a leaping grab and a catch, touchdown Flyers. I'm with quarterback Nathan Bruins of Marion Local. Nathan, what does earning this award mean to you and this football season overall? Uh, you know, it means a lot. Uh, just to be able to go out there with my friends and play, and, you know, just for this award, it, it's a lot. It means a lot to me. And you're, you played quarterback this season, and was this a growing year for you? How, how, how have you evolved as a player the last four seasons? Uh, at my junior year, from my junior into my senior year, that was the biggest growing year for me. You know, back there as a senior, I had a lot more confidence back there because I I played since my junior year, so I, I've seen everything. So just being back there as my senior year I, gave me a lot more confidence. And I know you're a big basketball guy. You're going to play basketball at Finley. Um, what about football do you take with you to the basketball court? Uh, you know, just leadership. You know, you got to be a leader out there. And uh, for basketball, you know, I try I try to be a leader out there too. So just just that leadership role. And in th this season, you really aired it out a lot. I feel like your team definitely had a very vertical offense. It Was that your favorite aspect of playing offense this year? Yeah, you know, it was just uh, we, th we threw the ball a lot more than we normally do this year. And, uh, you know, that was, that was nice just because something you don't normally see a lot in Marion local football. But, yeah, it was, it was nice, just a little something different. And you have a very, I would say, a stacked offense, a lot of guys that can play a lot of different ways. Um, how much fun was it this season to really kind of play with all those different toys? Uh, it was fun. I mean, I had a lot of speed with uh, Matt Rethman, uh, Peyton Otte, Nick Tangerman. I mean, Nick was like 6'4", so it would be nice. He'd just throw the ball up to him and he'd catch it. But, yeah, I had a lot of nice targets out there. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm definitely excited for it, but, uh, you know, I'll just, just, just take everything, uh, I mean, not how much you can take from football, but I mean, just from like being from football to into basketball, you know, you still got to take, like I said earlier, that leadership role with you. So, no, going in there and you can't be scared when you get there, you got to go in there and try to, try to earn everything. Split back set, two receivers and a tight end for the Flyers. Brunt's going to look right side of the field, had it intercepted. Ben Wedding to the 10, 5 into the end zone. Touchdown, Coldwater pick six. Hide for Wedding, and for Hemelgarth. Hand off, that give is to uh, Wedding. Wedding inside the 10, down to the six yard line. Two to the left, so an empty set, throw. Pass is caught by Ben Wedding. 
He'll get past the 35 yard line. First down, Coldwater. Handoff, Wenning. Walks That's into down. the end zone. Ball game. 26 20. Coldwater, double overtime winners tonight over the Marion Local Flyers. Ben, what does it mean to earn this award, but also to earn your senior season the way you did? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's pretty special knowing that uh, I accomplished a lot this year uh, with a lot of my great friends, you know. Um, it's been a fun year. Uh, I've just really done my hardest, you know, uh, tried everything and hadn't looked back. Uh, it's been a great year, so. And we were talking off camera. They really use you in a lot of ways. You're a running back on this team. They split you out wide in an empty set. Um, what about this season really helped you to be more versatile as a player? Um, I think it was that we had so many other skill guys around us. I mean, we had two great receivers. Uh, Mitch was an, another running back, so uh, teams had to look out for everybody, and then we could throw me out in a slot. And I mean, we just used a lot of different things to get around people, and if they took one thing away, we went at the other guy. So it was we had, <clears throat> we had a great cast around us. I think that's really what helped me. Is that something you've always enjoyed? about the running back position is the versatility of you get to be a pass catcher as well as carrying the rock. Yeah, I mean, there's so many different things that we do with our running backs. I mean, we have a very spread offense, you know. I mean, we go 32 sometimes where we have no running backs, and then both of us go out. Sometimes we go with two running backs. I mean, sometimes we're a power run team, and sometimes we threw the ball a lot. So I, I really liked how Coldwater, I guess, our offense helps bring out how good we are, you know. Comparing this season to your other three playing football, um, how, how did this really compare in terms of your favorite season? Yeah, uh, I mean, last year I played a lot, but it was with guys that were older than me. Now I was kind of learning, but this year I was more of the veteran. And, uh, I mean, it was really fun teaching, helping the other guys, you know, helping the young guys along and being a good role model and just playing your best, you know. What are any future plans? Uh, no, I'm not uh, not playing anything in college. Uh, just going to maybe go to a trade school and – see where it goes so that's awesome and what will you what lessons will you take that you learned on the football field ahead in life after you graduate yeah I mean I'm definitely I mean football taught me so many ways I mean showing up on time always being there uh, being accountable for I mean everyone wants you to be there so you got to be there for everyone else and uh, I mean just all the life lessons that coach Otten talks about and teaches us throughout uh, the football season I'll take that for the rest of my life so Five game-changing players on the gridiron. Now let's commemorate the top five players of the hardwood. Bowman works, gets a screen. And he makes the foul line jump shot and is fouled. Bowman foul line jumper. Yep. Yeah, it looks like he's, he's got nine shot, now. Huh? Bowman three, that's his first three of the night. He's got 33 of those on the year and 12 points tonight. They're after giving it away at the end of the first half. Bowman gets a look at three. And Bowman's got his second three of the night at 15 points. Bowman gets a screen from Clay for three. Brody. I'm with Brody Bowman. Brody, what does this mean to you to be named a Stolly Hustler and just your senior year overall? Well, obviously it means a lot. It's anytime you get recognition for anything, you know, after hard work and stuff, it's always just feels like a blessing from God and always just really thankful for it. So senior year has been a blast, you know. Um, teammates have been awesome. It's been a really fun year, so it's a good way to good way to go out, I suppose. And we've covered you a lot on WOSN and TV 44. You're on the Sports Report. Um, what have, how have you journeyed this season in your final year? Oh, I feel like it's taught me a lot. Um, but overall, just um, hard work probably. And um, I don't know if it's like the words dedication or perseverance um, because we faced a lot of, um, I faced a lot of hardship, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it, but sometimes I had a lot of guys coming at me and it was, it was, yeah, it was physical off ball. And it was, um, usually I was, a lot of times I was somebody's assignment and I've been on the other end of that coin too. So I know how annoying it is, how annoying I am when I'm on the other end of that assignment. So, um, I guess it was learning to, to push through that. And, um, we had to work out some different ways to, I had to be more creative on some scoring options, you know, to try to help my team. Like, what was I going to do now that I had this guy all over me in my face, whatever. So I don't know. It was a journey. It was a, it was good, and I felt like I learned a lot. 
And was this your last season playing basketball, or are you still thinking about playing in college? There's still a slight possibility of playing in college. It's fairly slim. The stars would kind of have to align for it to work out. Um, but it's still a distinct possibility. We're, we're talking to a few places. Um, but I'm choosing my college based on my academics. Uh, so if it works out for me to play basketball at the college that I choose for that, then that'd be awesome. If not, I'll just focus on my studies. <laughs> and speaking of your studies, you want to go into film and art. Touch on that. Um, I guess, I don't know, I love them both. I love all areas of art, but film and art, uh, film and illustration probably the most specifically. Um, ever since I was little, I was begging for a video camera. I wanted one so bad. Uh, the bonus features of DVDs, that was always my favorite, sometimes my favorite part. I was just, you know, starry-eyed. I thought it was all the coolest thing ever. So as soon as my parents got a laptop, an Apple laptop from our school, then they had a basic version of iMovie, and I was like, this is awesome. So that's where I kind of started, and uh, I've continued to do it, and I love it, and I was able to make a short film this past summer um, with the help of like my church and some other people who had equipment they lent it to me because I didn't have any money <laughs> but they they made it possible for me so I did that and illustration my mom writes she's an author so that gives me the opportunity to actually illustrate some of the books that she writes so that's also been been really cool a mom son combo on books so as soon as we can and there's a steal by Bixler coming right out of the break and he lays it up and in game 12 10 Bixler taking baseline up and in Ball, and they're pushing it. Bixler will take the jumper and got it. That's a two. Just inside the arcs. And his defense very aggressive. Yep, does a steal. Yep, will help defense on the double team. Up and in, Bixler! Look at Bixler. He dives on the floor to tip the dribble away. And got it! Basket to go! Bert Bixler, my what a goodness! Play. Uh, we've accomplished many things, and uh, beating Marion in that game was huge because it came right down to the wire of that game, and getting that award was really special to me and to the team. And you've had a great season so far. You're only a junior. What are your goals to finish things out? Uh, right now we're looking at playing in the district finals Sunday against Clark Montessori, and we don't want an, uh, to end our story there. Uh, we got a pretty good team this year, and I think we can take it to Columbus. And what have you learned this season, starting from the beginning and here we are, you know, at districts and regionals? Um, I think that this is a big period for me to grow this year, especially since junior year and then going into senior year next year. Um, I've learned a lot from our leaders like uh, Carter and Griffin, our two seniors this year. And I think it's taught me to be a leader myself on and off the court. And you mentioned that basketball is your favorite sport. You're a three, three sport athlete. What about basketball makes it your favorite? Um, I would just say I've been playing it since, you know, third, fourth grade. I've been on the same AAU team. I've been playing with the same kind of guys. Uh, me and Riley have always been in the backcourt together. I just think I have a really strong passion for this game, and I just love everything about it. And you mentioned, you know, you'd, you'd like to play college ball. Um, how, what would you take from an athletics over to the next level? Uh, we have a really great coaching staff here at Anna, and I think that they've taught me a lot of things through my years, and I would say my dad's taught me a lot of things through my years too, and I would, uh, I feel like I would have an advantage over some of the other guys if I was uh, able to be able to play at the college level. And we're at the end of the season here, so you played a lot of games. What was the one game that stood out to you most about this season and this team and this group of guys? Um, honestly, I think that our first loss to Jackson Center would be uh, the most standout game because I think we did the most growing in that game and uh, it showed us that we can't take every game for granted from here on out and it shows us that we are beatable and it shows us uh, you know like how much we needed to to get our things together and how hard we needed to compete to get where we wanted to go. This rebound comes to Capella here's his outlet pass into the rim and finishing is George Mangus. Well, that's a really lead here if they can maintain that lead. Mangus goes to the rim and finishes. Boy, he's a nice looking player, isn't he? Yes, sir. Mangus goes to the rim. Short jumper. Nice. Different part of Really nice pass wow, by Caprella. Finds Mangus inside. 14. Sideline gets the point. 
Turnover, numbers in the ends. Mangus scores. I'm with George Mangus. And what does it mean to you to not only be a, a Shawnee Indian, but also to earn this award for your team? I mean, it means a lot because I couldn't have done it without my teammates giving me the ball. And I just took it to the hoop every time I got it. And I was just able to do whatever I had to do for the team to help them win. And your coaches, your uh, your teachers, they, they speak very highly of you, and you always seem like a guy who's always ready to hit a very clutch shot. Is that something you work on to be able to, you know, be at your best in big, in big moments? I've definitely played with my friends, you know, always hitting that game-winning shot. But, you know, I just try to look to do whatever my coach asked me to do, and if it comes to that, then I'll probably hit the shot. And you said earlier, you're a sophomore, so you still have two full seasons plus a little bit more postseason to go here. Um, where do you see yourself in two years as a player? I think I could see myself going somewhere for D1 college basketball. If I just keep working hard, and I think I could go to one of the big conferences. And is there a specific player that you model your game after? I usually model it after LeBron. I always watch him play a lot. I always try to do his moves and look what he does. Here's Hegel. Hegel on the drive to the rack, scores. First two of the night, level the floor tonight. Comes up with that one. Eagle pulls up. 12 footer is good. He gets rid of the left wing deep and all back to Eagle. For three. Got it. Owen, less than two minutes to play here in quarter number two. Eagle, foul line jumper. Got the roll. Eagle. Eagle in the lane. Through two. Count it in one. I'm here with Owen Eagle. Owen, what does it mean to you to earn this award? Uh, it's awesome. I mean, it's what the game's about, being able to hustle, and that's what we do. So diving around on the floor and stuff like that is what makes – that's what wins games. And you guys had a great season and unfortunately came to a, to an end a couple of days ago. Um, what stood out to you about your senior season? Definitely being with the seniors and this close uh, group of team we had. I mean, we were with each other – we were with each other all the time, and that's what made it so much fun. And these coaches that we were with, it was just a blast to be around. And how have you evolved as a player? You know, you said when you started here your freshman year, they just got the brand new floor and you're getting used to the packed house every night. How did that freshman grow into the senior today? A lot of hours spent on this gym floor, and especially in the summer with, the, with the, one of our assistant coaches. I spent a lot of time with him, and we worked on jump shot, especially pulling up jump shot, and that's what I was, felt most comfortable with this year. And what are you going to miss about this team and this coaching staff? once you graduate? Uh, definitely just being able to play in the WBL, a league like that. Is, every game was a dogfight. And uh, about the team, just being, being with each other because we're not going to see them anymore next year. And our coaches, same with them. But uh, mostly just playing in front of the crowd like this and being in front of everybody, that was awesome. They worked the basketball to Andre Gordon. Gordon working, pulls the three left side and hits. Come up and play that pressure defense that they're going to need him to do. Herb gets it stolen away. Here's Gordon. Boom! Shakalaka! Sydney has the basketball with a lead of 10. Here's Gordon. Gins is good. Pulls it down and he lost it. Here's Gordon again. Two points on the slam. Bam! Jam! And a steal. Here's Gordon. Flight 20. Ready for launch. Reverse. Boom! Shakalaka! Double clutch, got up again, this time made sure there was going to be no doubt and got it to fall. The 2018-2019 season provided a lot of memorable moments thanks to the outstanding athletes we just presented. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Uh, we really appreciate, again, you guys' partnership. And it obviously wouldn't be possible without uh, the great athletes that we have around this area. And we love to give them uh, anything we can to spotlight their hustle on and off the court and uh, the great attitudes that that our young kids have and, and will show the community moving forward. Thank you as always to Jared Stolle and Stolle Insurance Group for making this show possible. I'm Frank Altieri, we'll see you in 2020.